we're sitting here in Vegas. Good morning, everybody. I went and saw Ivan off at the house. Chris took the handheld with her, the handheld GoPro. Hopefully she got some good footage over there. Uh, they're still doing paperwork. Next, uh, final swearing in. Some other stuff. And then he's flying out. Well, they're going to bus him over to the airport. And then they're going to fly him out to Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. <sighs> he's nervous. <laughs> Gave him a little bit of a pep talk. It was a little bit scary at first. I'm like, you're gonna, at night you're going to be cold, wet, and miserable. In the daytime you're going to be hot, sweaty, and exhausted. But just remember, it's only eight weeks. And although you're, the whole time through you're going to be thinking, what the hell am I doing here? Why am I putting up with this crap? Once that eight weeks is over... You're going to be like, you know, it really wasn't that bad. And I compared it to high school. And I was like, the whole time in high school, you're thinking, God, I wish this was over. Man, I want to get out of here. I can't wait to graduate. Then after you graduate, you're like, man, I wish I was back in high school. S similar thing. Uh, you know, it goes with the old line, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And, you know, I remember basic very well. Uh, my drills, Staff Sergeant Cobb, Sergeant Norris. Excellent drills. And most of the way through, I hated them. Oh, I absolutely hated them. But toward the end, reality started sinking in. And by the time it was over, you know, that final week, I was like, you know, this really isn't that bad. They've pushed me and pushed me and proved to me that I can do things that I didn't think I could do. made me, I believe, a better person uh, because of it. He's going to learn the same lessons, hopefully. But from Fort Leonard Wood, he's going to go to Fort Sam for uh, medic training. So once he's in Fort Sam, you know, he should be able to get weekends off and stuff like that. So if we're coming through the area or have just have to detour a little bit let's stop off and visit we will but Ivan's a good kid I have faith in him I know he's going to make it and uh, hmm, he gets to have his 21st birthday in basic training oh boy <laughs> but yeah I know he's going to make it I have faith But everything, all the real stuff, starts tomorrow. Alrighty, quick update. <laughs> Saw Ivan off. Took Alizé to the vet. Uh, her ear's been bothering her. Got that checked out. They gave us some stuff to flush her ear and some cortisone and some other meds and because she gets all super rowdy when we take her to the vet <laughs> they gave us some tranquilizers for follow-up visits <laughs> so now if we're going to take her to the vet we got to give her a tranquilizer an hour beforehand got done with the vet i went over to the german bakery got a couple of pastries some uh 
German dinner rolls. Uh, where I'm from, we call them Wasserbeck. Uh, also known as Brötchen, but you got two different types. Uh, part of Germany I'm from, we differentiate between the two. Some parts, well, they're all Brötchen, but you have water base and milk base. Wasserbeck and Nilschweck. But they're crusty rolls. Taste a little bit different, used for different things. Went over to Walmart, got everything for dinner tonight. I'm gonna make my meat roll up thingies. Uh, also German, called Gulladen. And Cisco has been wanting a PlayStation Vita, PS Vita quite a while and Chris made a deal with him and he earned it so I went ahead and got that and a game and we got a game for Angelo for the Xbox let's see daughter-in-law just picked Chris up took her back to the house put everything up start doing laundry me and the games are here. The watch, which if you watched earlier this year, before I got this one, the big, huge, thick gold one that I was wearing, it was giving me a rash. I had a reaction to the plating. So Cisco had shown interest in it before. So I'm letting Cisco have it. I can't wear it. No issues whatsoever with my Luminox. Loving my Luminox. And by the way, the Luminox I got for Ivan too, which is just a basic one. Uh, this one's a chronograph. His was just basic. Uh, had a little bit extra stuff on the dial. But it wasn't a chronograph. You be quiet. Ivan absolutely loved it. There he is! <laughs> this is his last time home for a while. Yes, it will be on video. After me, I state your name. I, I John John Perry. Perry. do solemnly swear, do solemnly solemnly swear. swear. that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, and that I will obey the orders. And they obey the orders of the President of the United States, of the President of the United States, and the orders of the officers, and the orders of the officers appointed above me, appointed above me, according to regulations, according to regulations, and the uniform code of military justice, and the uniform code of military justice. So help me God. So help me God. All right, congratulations. Woo wee! All right, safe travels. Family, congrats to everyone. Congratulations. Good evening. We're back in the truck. Uh, dinner was
was good. Alze's shaking her ear. I just put medicine in her ear. You don't scratch. Don't scratch. Shake it out. I <laughs> uh, just put the medicine in her ear. Man, that stuff reeks. Uh, we had a good dinner. Chris decided to be nice and let me sleep later and started prepping dinner. The only thing is, she didn't know exactly how I made it. She put way too much mustard on these things. Uh, basically, you start off with the super thin steaks. And I use this mustard. It's an extra sharp German mustard. And you put a dab on it, spread it out, lay in a slice of bacon, sprinkle chives in there, roll it up, Take a toothpick, skewer it, brown it. Properly, you're supposed to use uh, Jäger sauce. But I end up using mushroom gravy. Actually, a mix of mushroom gravy and onion gravy. Uh, two parts mushroom, one onion. And with the batches being the size that I'm making, three packages of gravy, you know, work out good because we also use it on the mashed potatoes and I'm feeding seven of us okay uh, anyway after you brown them you uh, simmer them in the gravy keeps everything moist and so on and so forth but you simmer them until the meat's cooked all the way through really good good, basic, simple uh, meal there. And of course some mashed potatoes with it, the German salad with the basic vinaigrette. Uh, I use it's butter lettuce or Boston bib, but the hydroponically grown and the plastic shells you can get them at Walmart or a lot of grocery stores. But definitely not iceberg. <laughs> uh, you can use romaine, parts of romaine, if that's all you have available. Uh, actually ends up real good there too. But basic vine vinaigrette, uh, mild salad vinegar, olive oil, salt, pepper, and fine dice some onions let the onion, you know, stir everything up, then let the onion soak in that for a while. So the vinegar leaches some of the uh, flavor of the onions out. Just a simple, basic, you know, meat and potatoes dinner. But it still turned out real well. A little bit too mustard mustardy because Chris, instead of putting a good size dab and spreading it out she ran a line pff, all the way down the meat <sighs> mm. but it still ended up good came back to the truck checked email and some other things my uh, FPV system is due to be delivered tomorrow so I'll be able to get that all put together got to make my delivery in the morning Got to make sure I get up early. It's a, uh, see, 8.30? Yeah, 8.30 a.m. appointment. I may just drive out there tonight. Uh, but I didn't see any parking in the area. That's the main holdback on me not going there now. I'm rambling again. So, if you like the video, please share it. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, all. Alize, you gonna say bye? You gonna say bye? No? You're not gonna say bye? Woof. Woof. There you go.